everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing well. Today's going to be my cash envelope budgeting stuffing thing. Um, I still don't know what to call it since I pretty much went cashless, but I guess it's a budgeting video um, for the month of December through to January, so I get paid December 18th. I'm currently filming this on the 16th, because that's the day that our um, pay slips go live, so I can do my budgeting today, and then when I get paid on Friday, I know what amounts I have to transfer into um, my different accounts, and what money I need to withdraw and everything, um, or pay my dad back as the ca at the minute. This money is my dad's, I just pay him back, because um, he gets the money out for me, and I just pay him back on Friday when I get paid. So... I have everything wrote down, ready to go. As usual, I haven't filled in um, food or spare in purse because until um, Thursday night, I'm not gonna know what I've got ready to go into the new pay month with. So I'm gonna have to just leave that. I've got my little erasable pen ready to go and I have a couple new things I've added on for this month, but I will talk you through all of them. Let's go move all these bits out of the way. Come back to these in a minute and I'll zoom you in and then we can get started. Okay, so first of all we're going to write down how much I got paid. I'm going to do that in a red pen because that is a nice colour to use. So this month I got paid £1,026.71. pence. Okay, let's pop that there. So I'm going to tell you now, this month has been stressful with my money. So I think it was, what day would it have been? I think it was um, Saturday the 5th of December. I'm sat here watching um, Community on my Amazon Prime account, which I watch um, on my PlayStation 4. All of a sudden it logs me out and next thing I know I keep getting all these emails saying that I've bought FIFA and something like about £250 suddenly vanished from my PayPal account and my bank account and I'm like I haven't bought anything so I called um, my sister's boyfriend in I was like have I accidentally clicked something or what but no it turns out someone had hacked into my account which unbeknown to me was linked to my PayPal account and whoever hacked in stole Oh, I say stole, they bought a load of things with my money and then for like a week I was down £250 in my um, main card. So I woke up one morning, like they'd taken the money, I managed to get the money back and everything and they're like right the money might still vanish from your account. Um, and it vanished I think on the 7th so I woke up and I had like minus £187 in my account and I nearly cried. Um, thankfully I got it back on um, the 14th so for about a week I had literally no money in my account so I had to take a load of money out of my general savings just to cover that so I didn't go into an overdraft or anything and it was the most stressful seven days like waiting for this money to be refunded so thankfully that is now all sorted so I haven't got anything like majorly like upsetting <laughs> to report but um, just a heads up if you have a PlayStation or maybe an Xbox that is linked to a PayPal account maybe unlink it because um, I don't want it to happen to you so that's my little PSA for the uh, day so <laughs> oh my god I've never been so stressed in all my life um, thankfully the people um the lady who we rang uh, for Sony PlayStation was extremely helpful um, and she was able to like get it all sorted for me and got my account back, got my money back but yeah the money went and then went back in so thankfully because it was through PayPal they were really good as well so oh, anyway just that little bit done <laughs> okay so all right let's get into this stop blithering on right so my bills and subscriptions for this month are sitting pretty about 72 although saying that I think that could have changed because if I go to my trusty little um, so over here it's um, the 16th today so this hasn't come out yet so this is my Erin Condrum um, my phone I thought was going to be £30 but it was actually £24.63 um, so that might actually be different now I can't work that is that going to be different let's just quickly add that up and we'll figure that out okay so it's saying about £67 actually so um, yeah we'll do 67 and if that changes then we'll go to something else okay bills and subscriptions 67 pounds lovely okay so that is that and as you can see over here in this box um, my car tax comes out January 5th which falls in this month's paycheck so that I need to make sure I have um, set aside for that day so that 
note will be staying on my main card so that's just there to remind me okay so this amount and this amount plus whatever my budgeted is that's the absolute minimum I can have showing on my main card once I've done all my transfers so that is for January then we go into savings so as usual I'm not going to put in what my current ones are apart from gifts which is sitting extremely sadly at zero but I did use um, all, all of my gifts one I um, got rid of all the gifts one for my Christmas present so I did all of my Christmas presents from my Christmas like um, envelope and what I then couldn't cover with that Christmas fund I used on the gifts one which I think had about £40 left in it so I cleared that and finished my Christmas presents so that was good okay so general I'm going to pop in £200 holiday can have 150 and gifts because we're starting off at zero and I also have a lot of birthdays in January that's going to get 40 that will probably be emptied I don't get paid until I think it's January 15th um, and I have two birthdays between and I say I actually have three birthdays between now and the 15th but one of them is a December one and that's already been sorted um, so I have my friend Jackie and my friend Laura and their birthdays are prior to the 15th and I have my mum's and Nicola's are uh, 19th and 21st so maybe I'm gonna have to buy two presents a little bit later and hope that I can still see them <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it as 40 for now um, and we'll go from there but the good thing so as this is the last one I'm probably gonna chat a little bit more about like what's happened throughout the year with my money so my general for this year I don't think I've done too badly with it actually so if I'm right what my final total for 2020 is going to be after that I think I'm 500 pounds shy of what I wanted it to be um I like I said the lockdown happened and <laughs> my food budget ended up um, ended up going about £100 higher each month for about four months um, and I've kept it as that since so the f I think it was um, March, April, May and June um, I was pretty much in shielding and I'd only gone back to work like the last half of June and I was only at work for the first half of March so since we went into lockdown we couldn't go food shopping we was having to do everything online and because online I wasn't able to use my staff discount card um, for months everything was just more expensive so yeah the first few months didn't go very well um, and there was a couple of months I just I wanted more things from Erin Condren and it's been one of those years I was like do you know what if it makes me happy just for a couple of days to have some new stationery then heck I'm gonna go out and buy some so I did and then October I spent oh god I think even my birthday money it was still nearly about 300 pounds um from birthday money and savings and like what was in my budgeted amount I bought myself a Cricut Joy and a bunch of vinyl just so I could do some like crafts and stuff so I didn't do fabulously but I think £500 shy considering we've been in a pandemic I don't think that was too bad so I will take that <laughs> um holiday now um yeah oh sorry if you can this on my hand I burnt my hand at work cutting and um, wrapping cheese up um so holiday um, let's see, so what am I going to end up with? Roughly about that. I've got it wrote down on the side because I don't like writing it down because like I said they're bigger numbers and I don't want to share them with the entire world. I don't mind sharing like the small amounts but anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, the holiday one I am, um, oh let's see, about 500 again. Sure, because I only there was a few months I only put in like 50 and then there were some months I again took too much out of the general so I then had to take some out of a holiday just to the, like bring the padding down and then I was like do you know what we're not going to Florida next year anyway because of the pandemic we can't go April May time which is when we were hoping to book to go so I was like do you know if I take a bit out now it's fine oh someone's ringing the home phone so because of all of that I did end up taking some out of my holiday account um even though we are now hoping that um if everything is sort of normal ish we might be able to go for a week maybe next November but that is extremely up in the air it's just like 
a far out thought as in I would like to have a week away somewhere um, if not we just won't be going next year we'll just be going hopefully um, around about Easter time in 2022 which seems like forever away but we shall see what happens so all in all I think about a thousand pounds came out both of the accounts in total maybe a little bit more um, I think the totals I wrote down I wrote them down somewhere around about April so um, yeah Anyway, chatted for too long, we'll <laughs> carry on. So yeah, those are what I'm putting in for my savings. Then we go on to the cash envelopes and I have two extra envelopes which I will be doing for I think um, just for a few months just so I can have a little bit of money. So uh, my Disney Plus I believe comes out February or March, I can't remember which one. I want to say it's March it comes out um, because I had a month free as a trial and then I also had it on an introductory deal because I signed up so 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 early to it and um, before it was released in the UK so I think it's March and it's going to be about £60 so I've worked out that for the dentist and Disney I've got about four months to save up for each of them so I'm going to start putting a little bit aside for them so then when because um, so yeah, like I said, Disney's going to be about £60 and my dentist, because I'm not with the NHS, I go private for it, it's about £90. So I just want to have a little bit of money saved aside. Um, I think it's actually, no, I think it's like £82 actually, my dentist, that's just, that's if I don't need any like work done. Um, it's just something like a routine checkup and like a polishing clean sort of thing. Um, so I just want to make sure I've got some money for that so then when that month comes around I haven't got like a huge expenditure that I'm unprepared for. So I'm learning from other things that people have been putting on their cash envelopes and I've been obsessed with watching people's budgeting videos at the moment because I like to know what other categories I could maybe do or what's a smart thing that I should be saving up for. So those are two new things. <laughs> okay, so as normal, my food is going to get 200. This pretty much hasn't changed since I think April. Um, it, I was doing 160 but that's when I was doing all my food shopping at work whereas now we still do it all online so 200. Uh, my car is going to get 40 so my MOT and service is due by January 31st at the very latest. I normally have it sorted like sometime near the end of January so I'll have that done. Um, so that would then bring me up to 220 which doesn't quite cover that but it will cover my car insurance in February so my um where am I going with this <laughs> um I got up at five I got up at five I got up at 3 30 this morning because I had to start work at five my brain isn't functioning all right let's try that again so with my car um my insurance is due in February that 220 will cover my insurance quite happily so that's fine and then anything like um, for any new tyres or um, which I do actually need is a new back window wiper because mine has split um, I think I also need like a timing thing sorted so that can come out of my general but we'll go from there so for my fuel I'm going to pop in 15 and medication I need to put in 10 because I do still have quite a lot in there and what's in there will do at least two more and that can then just build back up again a little bit uh, toiletries can have 10 because I don't really need a lot um, fashion I'm going I say fashion it could be clothing shoes whatever one of them <laughs> um, also gave 20 because I might need some new uh, work trousers soon and Maybe some new tops to go under my work jumpers um, just for now because it's getting a bit cold so might need a little bit more. Um, miscellaneous is also getting 20. Now Christmas has still got £10.05 and five pence in it. Now I don't know if that technically is from the Christmas one or the gifts one because I sort of combined them last month when I did the rest of my Christmas shopping but I'm going to leave it in the Christmas one so I've got a little bit to start off ready for next year so that is going to have mm, do 20 for that so that gives me a little bit then and I think I mean I didn't start doing a like a Christmas um, envelope until I think it was May I think it was April or May round about there 
and I still managed to save up about like £250 for Christmas and used it all relatively wisely. I um, also did have to go into the gifts one to help out but that's just something I can you know learn for next time and so I've got that ready for next year. Um, outings, uh, just do, um, so do 15 for that one. So I have £60 in a cash envelope which I started at the start of the year and I've got 140 on my card for it so kind of got like a cash and card one going on so if we go somewhere and they don't have a card machine working I'll have the £60 in cash ready to go and if it's something bigger then we've got the 140 there so that one is coming along really nicely and I'm really looking forward to this one building up because then once it's all like we're in tier three at the moment so we can't really go anywhere or mix with other homes at the moment like other households or stuff so it's a little bit naff at the moment so what I'm going to be doing is just saving that up and hopefully when this is all sort of over or it's calmed down a lot more or the UK government decides we're allowed to sort of go back to some version of normalcy in the current climate then I've got a little bit of money saved aside so we can have maybe like a couple of days out somewhere as a family or I can go somewhere with my friends or just do something nice so that is there. So for Disney, like I said earlier, that one um, is a brand new envelope. I haven't got anything towards that one at all yet. So I'm just going to put in 15 now. And that will gradually build up. And then I know maybe about August or September, obviously once I've paid it all off in like March, maybe August or September, like build up just like a fiver here and there. Um, and so that way it's not going to be quite as scary. <laughs> um, right, my dentist is also going to get 20. I said it's £82 and I think I've got four paydays, maybe five until that one. So so four paychecks will get me to 80 and it's £82. So if I get the fifth one, that'll get me to 100 and I've got a little bit extra just in case. Okay, then we've got the last little section. Sorry this video is so long, like going on forever. So work food. At the moment, I think I've got like £7 still in my work food. So this may change this current one to a fiver, but if I have a fiver left over in my work food, that always goes into my little uh, extra envelope. So I, I always just put zero. I can always edit that later on if I need to, but it will still get its usual 20. Uh, dinner out. I'm surprised I still actually have 50 in there because I swear I took some out for a takeout, but all the cash is still in the envelope, so obviously I didn't. Um, so I'm still going to pop in 20 now. Originally, this £50 was going to be going towards um, the Christmas dinner that Nicola and I always do every year. We've done it for like eight years now. Um, we always go to like a little restaurant, just the two of us. We have a Christmas dinner, then we get in the car and we have our little chit chats and we wear like Christmas hats and stuff and this is something fun for the pair of us to do. Can't do that because we're tier three and we're two separate households so I'm not even allowed to do that which sucks. And I always put an extra 20 in my purse because you'd never know. Sometimes um, at work they have like, I always go to self scan at the moment but some of them are card only and some are cash and card and if I don't want to queue up for specifically a card one or there's just a cash one waiting I like to have a little bit going just on the off chance. Again it's a few days beforehand so I don't know what's going to go into my current one so I shall leave that there for the moment. Okay I'm going to go into the extra and see how much I've got. I did um, swap out um, uh, I can't count. I swapped out four five pound notes uh, for two ten pound notes just so I could sort myself out. So in my extra, I have got 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So they'll probably be going on Easter eggs <laughs> for next year. It's not a bad little amount there. I have actually taken quite a lot out of that this month as well. So somewhere along the way with my food shopping, uh, one week I went over budget so I could I then can't take out from the next week's budget, that's the rule I've put in place and it hasn't done me wrong so far but um, because of that I did have to get a few bits after work one day so I had to take a couple of fivers out of my extra one. And then the following day we all um, decided like up at work we're going to do a secret centre which is a £5 limit. So the other £5 note that I had ended up going 
on that so <laughs> I had to take a bit out this month but like I said this, that is specifically for like unexpected expenditures or maybe I've gone over an, an amount but I like to try and build this up and I started this I think it was December last year I started this so if I hadn't taken anything out probably be up to nearly 90 maybe even 100 by now I can't quite work out how much I've taken out but yeah probably about 100 okay so while we're down at the bottom I'm just going to put in the new totals so that will be 20 and that one gets to 70 obviously I can't do this very in purse yet because I don't know I'm not going to fill out the um, savings one because I mentioned that at the beginning and let's see so food can't do that one so my car will now be at 220 I think yeah 220 fuel gets me to 34 56 I like that one 3 4 5 6 I like that very nice um, it's the small things that please me um, right medication and uh, that gets me to 52 pounds and 95 pence toiletries is then 32 pound five so if I need anything desperately I'm gonna have to grab some stuff just before Christmas at work because I get uh, three days off over Christmas which is quite nice and um, fashion goes up to 41 pound 30 miscellaneous goes to 30 39 which I think is the most I've had in my miscellaneous one since I want to say February or March so that's not bad going so Christmas yay um, that gets £30 and 5 pence which I'm quite happy with that as a like starting amount so that's a good one to start off with so this one still has 60 in the envelope um, that then goes up to 155 on my card which gives me a grand total of £215 I'm very happy with that one and Disney Plus gets its first one which is 15 and the dentist is 20 so that's all of my new total so on Friday when I'm getting ready for work at half three in the morning again I will just uh, transfer all of this lot over and by tomorrow by the time I get home from work I'll know um, what I need or not so that would be very nice so yeah I'm gonna zoom you guys out and just put some money in the envelopes and then we're done okay I've just gone and grabbed my purse and my little bits and pieces so my work food gets the £20 which is then the four fives. some point I need to go up to a, or go to the bank or go up to the um, post office and see if they can let me have a bunch of fives out so I can replenish my um, dad's wallet. <laughs> okay so the next one is dinner out, so you've got 20, 30, 40, 50 and another 20 brings that up to 70 so hopefully in January for Nicola's birthday we'll be able to go out for dinner but if not I'm just going to keep building that one back up and the last one I need to do is £20 in my purse because I've got nothing <laughs> all I've got is some change which isn't a great deal so yeah, that's what I'm just like, why have I not got any money in here? It's just come back to me. I remember now, um, my manager up at work, he was on paternity leave and we'd all like chipped in and got in some presents and stuff. So another one of my fivers from this went into that little fund. I also made him a little star, which was like our first Christmas as a family of three. I did that and then the morning he came back, my colleague Sandra goes to me like, we didn't get anything for his um, fiance. Like we didn't get anything for the mum. And we're like, we didn't really get anything for him either. She's like, no, we have to get something for the mum. And I was like, okay. So we both quickly ran around the shop and got some like chocolates and flowers for her. Um, we put a tenner in each for that. So 10 pounds of my spare went on that. And that's why I've got no money in my purse. It's just come back to me. <laughs> um, I also have like a voucher from work. I won't show you the whole thing, but it's like a little voucher. As a Christmas thank you, we got a £10 voucher. I got some like meal tickets that we can use um, in the canteen. And I got a 50p off from the best range. So always like a little Christmas scratch card. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. That went on for so long. Thank you so much for sticking with us if you got to the end. 
very proud. Um, so now off camera I'm just going to fill in this bit so I know for next time and then tomorrow I just fill out the rest of it, work out the totals and all is good. So thank you so so much for watching guys, hope you all have a wonderful Christmas next week and that you're keeping safe and healthy and happy new year to you and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.